Miller James Watkins III, the longest serving general manager of Heritage Radio Station, WHUR 96.3 FM. Watkins, known to his colleagues and friends as Jim, has been at the helm of the Heritage Station for over three decades. Jim explains it best. And building the station was the wildest experience of my life. Here we had a short period of time to get on the air. We had been told that that time was not going to be extended. We were told that uh, we would uh, get the uh, station at 6 p.m. on December the 10th. And I was told that I could not get into the transmitter until after 6 o'clock. So it meant that we had to coordinate that with uh, the folks at WTOP. On top of that, we had no studio facilities. We were going to use a classroom trailer, which had to be completely outfitted with enough equipment to get on the air, train everyone, have production done, and be on the air by 6 p.m. So it was a real wild time. Jim, powering WHUR from a standalone station to a powerhouse network of six stations forming the Howard University Radio Network. Under his leadership, WHUR has enjoyed ratings and revenue success, surpassing many of its competitors. The Washington Post sold the radio station to Howard University in 1971 for a mere $1. Watkins has pushed the station's annual revenue above $12 million. Watkins has been one of the longest running general managers in the country and has been an innovator helping to make WHUR one of the most recognized and respected radio stations in the country. Known around the globe as the home of the original quiet storm, WHUR has amassed numerous awards under Watkins' tenure. The station has received four National Association of Broadcasters, NAB, Crystal Awards, two NAB Marconi Best Urban Station Awards, two Stellar Awards, and countless community service awards issued by nonprofit organizations. The radio station has raised millions of dollars to help those in need with school supply, food, coat, and toy drives. With Watkins at the helm, WHUR raised over $600,000 to build a 55-bed shelter for domestic violence victims in Prince George's County, sent thousands of Howard students around the globe to volunteer during their alternative spring break and hosted dozens of town hall meetings, workshops, and fairs to address critical issues impacting the Washington community. Always looking to be at the cutting edge of broadcasting excellence, Watkins ushered WHUR as the first station in the Washington market to go HD, the first black-owned radio station to have a NASCAR vehicle and driver, and the first college-owned station to have a Sirius XM channel. Jim explains it best. If you have an HD radio, we have WHUR, we have WHUR World, which is a HD2 station. We have our campus radio station, uh, WHBC, so the students have their own broadcast station, our HD4 station. And then uh, we have websites for all of those uh, streams, and they have their own digital platform where you can listen to them streamed on the internet. So the whole idea of the network is to provide a broadening of the entire brand of WHUR, Howard University Radio, on so that you can listen to some form of it anywhere in the world. His keen sense of programming helped to popularize urban syndicated radio with a local twist, bringing such shows as the Steve Harvey Morning Show and the Michael Basden Show to the Washington market. Watkins began his broadcast career at the tender age of 14 and was able to achieve many of his childhood dreams over the years. In high school, he helped to build a radio and television broadcast facility and worked as an announcer for his hometown radio station, WENZ. At the age of 19, Watkins became one of the youngest chief engineers in the nation after earning his engineering degree from Grantham School of Engineering. Watkins was the first African-American engineer at the Washington News Bureau at ABC News in the district. 
Watkins' broadcasting career flourished while at Howard University. He helped to construct WHUT-TV, formerly known as the WHMM channel. From 1980 to 1984, Watkins served as the Director of Operations and Engineering for WHMM-TV. He later went on to become the television station's general manager for several years, while simultaneously holding down the top job at WHUR. Recognized and well-respected around the country for his vision and broadcasting intellect, Watkins is a member of the Society of Broadcast Engineers, the Audio Engineering Society, and treasurer of the Washington Area Broadcasters Association, WABA. He was a recipient of the Band of Governors Award of the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Washington, D.C. chapter. Watkins is currently a member of the National Association of Broadcasters Radio Board. Watkins attributes his success to the brilliant team of students and the talented team of professionals he's worked with over the years at both the television and radio station. Miller James Watkins III, the longest serving general manager of Heritage Radio Station, WHUR 96.3 FM.